Why do you need a mentor? Well, they can help you avoid years of mistakes on your success journey. It's been said that 200 to 500 books makes one good mentor. You've probably heard people like Ty Lopez throwing this kind of advice around. The second reason is that the world's most successful people had mentors, including billionaire Warren Buffett, founder of Microsoft Bill Gates, and Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg. Good old Zooks. So what on earth qualifies me to give you a guide on mentorship? Well, not only do I have a mentor, but I also mentor other YouTube creators and have people asking me to be their mentor. So next up, who should be your mentor? Well, when you're looking for potential mentors, ask yourself, would I trade places with them? If yes, great. If no, keep searching. The next thing is to get their attention. Otherwise, I'll never know you exist, right? Now, there are a million and one ways to attract their attention, believe me. One way is to send them a message on the social media platform that they use most. If you wanted Gary V as your mentor, don't send him an email or a YouTube message. Send him a message on Twitter, dude, or Instagram. Now, if you've been paying attention, these are the platforms he's most likely to respond to you on. Another way is to build something so valuable that you naturally attract mentors. For me, this was my YouTube channel. After six months, my video views and subs were growing fast. Entrepreneurs in a Facebook group I was in began to notice me. Now, the next thing to do is to offer them value. This is extremely important. Please write this down. Three effective ways to do this. Uh, number one, put them in front of eyeballs. Everybody loves attention. Attention is a new currency, so it's extremely valuable if you can give your potential mentor an opportunity to get in front of your thousands of social media followers. It takes a while to learn how to build an audience, but once you do, you realize it's an invaluable asset that keeps on giving. The benefits of a social media following warrant a separate video because there are too many to name. Now, if you're thinking, oh, Brandon, I don't have the time to build a social media following. Well, let me just say that you don't even need thousands like I do. You, you know, even hundreds, if they're hyper targeted individuals in a very niche market, then you may be able to get away with that. But again, I can't promise anything. Anyway, another thing to do is to offer to work them for free. Okay, so a year ago, I offered an influencer to run his Facebook page for free. I really looked up to this guy. Although he didn't accept, he was pleased that I wasn't part of the 99% of the other leeches who were just thinking about themselves. Anyway, so now I'm on this dude's radar and I, I keep hanging out in his Facebook group and then one day out of nowhere, <laughs> BAM! He invites me to a Google Hangout at like 2am in the morning and the rest is history. He is now my mentor to this day. Uh, another thing you could do is create something for them. So a guy called Alan Parlin created animated videos for the comedian Bill Burr and ended up getting noticed by him. He now works for Bill Burr. So now that you've got a mentor, how do you keep them? Well, what you want to do to treat your mentor like they should be is execute on their advice. This is extremely important. No mentor wants a mentee where they spend their precious time giving you advice only to see you don't fucking take any action on it, okay? That is the worst thing you can do uh, to pay respect to your mentor. No mentor wants to put their time and energy into you only to see you don't do anything. Now, also understand that mentors aren't there to hold your hand. Let me repeat that. Mentors are not there to hold your hand. Don't blame your mentors for not getting results. Don't expect them to be in touch with you every single day. They act as a guide and you are the one that is ultimately responsible for your success. So ultimately, if there was just one single thing you took away from this video, it's that you just need to simply understand that getting a mentor is about offering value and building a relationship, okay? It's not, don't just email someone and go, can you be my mentor? That is the equivalent of just going up to a girl on the street and saying, hey, can you be my girlfriend? <laughs> See, I mean, how do you think that's going to turn out? Thanks for watching, and don't forget to sign up to my newsletter where I send you three golden nuggets from the book I'm reading each week head to brandonankervell.com slash subscribe. The last thing I want to say is due to some pretty complex events that are happening in my life right now, I've had to push back the podcast. I was hoping to get it out by July 31st, so my apologies. <laughs> we'll get the podcast out. It's coming. Believe me, it's coming. And you're going to love it. <laughs> we'll get there. Thanks, guys, and have an awesome day.
All right, welcome to Better Friends and Family. This is how you assemble a unicycle. All right, let's go. And that is how we assemble a unicycle.